So basically Hasbro sent an email to everyone who it had not laid off. And I'm just going to read you the email. It definitely does not inspire confidence in this company. And I think this company might be heading to zero. All right, let's take a look. Team, a year ago, we laid out a strategy to focus on building fewer, bigger, better brands and began the process of transforming Hasbro. Since then, we'd had some important win wins like retooling our supply chain, improving our inventory position, lowering costs, and reinvesting over $200 million into the business while growing shares across many of our categories. But the market headwinds we anticipated have proven to be stronger and more persistent than planned. While we're confident in the future of Hasbro, the current environment demands that we do more. If these choices are some of the hardest, even if these choices are some of the hardest we had to make. Today, we're announcing additional headcount reductions as part of our previously communicated strategical transformation affecting approximately 1,100 colleagues globally, in addition to the roughly 800 reductions already. That's a lot of employees that were let go. Our leadership team came to this difficult decision after much deliberation. We recognize this is heavy news that affects the livelihoods of our friends and colleagues. Our focus is communicating with each of you transparently and supporting you through this period of change. I want to start by addressing why we are doing this and what's next. Why now? We entered 2023 expecting a year of change, including significant updates to our leadership team, structure, and st scope of operations. We anticipated the first three quarters to be challenging, particularly in toys, where the market is coming off historical pandemic-driven highs. While we had made some important progress across our organization, the headwinds we saw through the first nine months of this year will continue into the holidays and are likely to persist in 2024. To position Hasbro for growth, we must first make sure our foundation is solid and profitable. To do that, we need to mon modernize our organization and get even leaner. While we see workforce reductions as a last result, resort, given the state of our business, it's a lever we must pull to keep Hasbro happy. What happens next? While we're making changes across the entire organization, some functional areas will be affected more than others. Many of those whose roles are affected have been or will be informed in the next 24 hours, although the timings will vary by country and line with local rules and subject to employee consultations where required. This includes team members who have raised their hand to step down from their roles at the end of the year as part of our voluntary early retirement program in the U.S. We are immensely grateful to these colleagues for their many years of dedication and we wish them the best. The majority of the notifications will happen over the next six months and a balance occurring will over the next year as we tackle the remaining work on our organizational model. This includes standardizing processes within finance, HR, IT, and consumer affairs as part of our global business enablement project, but it also means doing more work across the entire business to minimize management layers and create a nimbler organization. What else are we doing? I know this is news is especially difficult to hear during the holiday season. We value each of our team members. They aren't just employees, they're friends and colleagues. We decided to communicate now so people have time to plan and process the changes. For those employees affected, we are offering comprehensive packages, including job placement support to assist in their transition. We've also done what we can to minimize the scale of impact, like launching the VRP and exploring options to reduce our global real estate footprint. On this note, our Providence, Rhode Island office is currently not being used to its full capacity and we've decided to exit the space at the end of the lease term in January 2025. Over the next year, we'll welcome teams from our Providence office to our headquarters down the road in Pentucket, Rhode Island. It's an opportunity to reshape how we work and ensure our work is vibrant, productive, while reflecting our more flexible in-person canvas. 
as Gina often says, cost cutting is not a strategy. We know this, and that's why we'll continue to grow and invest in several areas in 2024. As we uncover more cost savings, we or invest in new systems, sites, insights, and analytics, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, essentially, I know there is no sugarcoating how hard this is, particularly for the employees directly affected. We're grateful to them for their contributions, and we wish them the best. In the coming weeks, let's support each other and lean in to drive through the necessary changes so we're going to return our business to growth and carry out Hasbro's mission. So this is the leaked CEO email. Um, obviously, in my personal opinion, it shows weakness when you have to write something like this. Um, it's a little crazy, man. It's a little crazy. This Chris, and the email was written by Chris, right? Um, Chris got a $9 million bonus, by the way. Uh, that could have definitely helped some of these people, I think, right? Um, he's not sad. He's going to do it again and again and again. Uh, you know, he can say, oh, I feel bad for you all you want, but his holiday was great. Man, he got $9 million. There's 9 million reasons why his holiday was fantastic. It was effing fantastic, right? Um, tough, man. Uh, tough. Um, imagine if you're a husband and wife, you work at the same company, and these are our colleague and friends. So sorry, I'll sit in the million dollar lifestyle and talk down to you guys about how bad I feel. Man, like, if you're, if you're not, like, fired right now, you will be. <laughs> this company's heading to zero, guys. <laughs> this leadership is just horrible. I mean, it is I mean, the way that he wrote the letter and the fact that he gave himself a $9 million bonus for a well... I, I mean, like, come on, dude. Like, it, it's uh, it's a little much, I would say. It, it's just a little much, right? Anyway, guys, 